Okay guys, the EMV na kinuha natin is 6, which is the highest one. This is coming from the second na decision natin, which is to launch the tide with down, ni EMV 6. Ayun. Kaya kung titignan ninyo, naka-blue yung ating uh, branch dito. Yes, hello everyone. So good day to all of you. In this presentation, guys, we will going to have our application of the decision trees with conditional probabilities in POMQM software, a great software for operations to research. So for our problem, we have this problem regarding Proctor and Gumball's Tide. So Alfred, the product manager of Tide, and he is planning to launch a new product. He can either launch Tide with Zone Rocks, Tide with Downy, or not do anything at all. If he will launch Tide with Zone Rocks, the company will gain $20,000 if the market is successful, or lose $18,000 if the market is a failure. Now, if he will go in to have his decision to launch Tide with Downy instead of Tide with Zone Rocks, the company will gain $12,000 if the market is successful or lose $3,000 if the market is a failure. If he will not launch anything at all, the company will not gain anything whether the market is successful or a failure. The probability is 60% that the market is successful and 40% that the market is a failure. So we have the summarized figures in the next slide. The question here is, what should the be the product that Alfred should launch and how much gain or loss will he expect for the company on that decision? So here are the payoff summary. This will what what we're going to use on our POMQM as our inputs. Okay, so let's go now to our POMQM software. So if you are on the home page of the software, please uh, make it a habit that the first part that you should do is, of course, to set the module of the software into the right module no, uh, connected doon sa topic ninyo, kung ano man yung topic ninyo. So in, in our case, guys, this is uh, decision analysis. So module and decision analysis. This makes the algorithm behind this software uh, match with the decision analysis na topic. Okay? And file, then create new. Sa new, we have here decision tables, decision trees, and decision trees na graphical, one period inventory for the fourth one. Now, as you can see, we have two decision trees here. Decision trees, tsaka decision trees na merong graphical. Doon tayo sa graphical, guys. Okay? And for the title, let's write as our title, um, Tide na lang, since this is a tide problem, and click OK. Now, as you can see, we have here the square node. Again, square node is what we call the decision node. It just represents the, this represents a time when a decision is made. Kapag may decision na, kapag hindi pa final yung decision, no computation pa lang, part pa lang siya ng magiging final na decision, that is just an event node. So in our case, we have here, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Our final decision dito is represented by the square number one on the POMQM software. For now, we should have three uh, chance events or chance events, chance nodes or what we call the event node for the tide with zone rocks, tide with down knee and do nothing. So go back to POMCOM software, click here. No, let's make this as three and add and branch. Now, we made this as three, tapos dalawa lang yung lumabas yung mga bugs sa software. Kapag nangyayari ito, sa akin, gato ang nangyayari. I, I'm not sure if sa inyo din. Pero if nangyayari yan, guys, just add another one. No, wala naman siyang error kapag ganyan. Add and branches. Ah, sorry. So, remove... And ano nangyari sa akin? No, nag-add ako ng 1, pero dito, ito yung naka-highlight. Kaya siya dyan dumikit. If mag-add tayo ng 1, no, make sure na ang naka-highlight, yung color green, no, is yung number 1 here. So, add branch. Dalawa ang nadagdag. Medyo may error na itong software sa loob. I'm not sure kung sa akin lang or sa lahat. Pero if this is the case, sumobra tayo ng isa. Ang i-delete nyo, guys, is yung nasa pinakataas. Not yung last one. Kasi nag-error siya. Uh, it says that the error is a runtime error. No, nagko-close yung software ko sa 
again for the first one oh this is for decision ng tied with zone rocks so let's rewrite here name tied with zone rocks for the profit here wala pa muna tayong ilalagay po dahil meron pa tayong kadugtong make sure guys na from left to right tayo ang paggawa ng decision tree pero kapag solving na kapag ang kinukuha na is manual tayong computation for EMV from right to left Okay, wag malilito doon. So we have here successful twenty thousand dollars. This is in thousand. And if failure, we have negative eighteen. So meaning to say, mag-add patay dito ng dalawa pang branch. So let's write here two. Tapos add and branch. Ayan. And write natin ito. Make sure ito yung naka highlight. No successful. Let's write here successful. And the probability. So what is the probability for successful? This is zero point. Six. So let's write here zero point six. And the profit, if the market is successful, that is twenty under the tied with zone rocks. So let's write here twenty. Okay, as you can see, automatic siyang nailalagay don. Sir, may nakalagay na sa node. There's one, two, three, four. No, wag kayo malilito, guys. This is not the solution. As you can see, hindi pa naka ano nakiklik yung solve na button natin. This is the default na system ng POMQM, default na input rather per node. No, binibilang niya lang kung ilan yung node. Currently, we have 6 na. No, anyway, so ito na tayo sa number 6 na node. This is for failure. So, let's write here. Failure. Okay. Probability ng market failure. That is 0.4. 0.4. And the profit for failure and tied with zone rocks, that is negative. 18. Negative 18. Okay, so we're done with our first, what we call this, option. <laughs> tied with zone rock. For the second one, this is tied with downy. So let's write here, tied with downy. Okay. And dalawa din ito, no? Successful and failure. So add, add tayo ng branch. Okay, so for the first Branch, make sure this is the highlighted one. Successful. And 0.6 ang probability. We have 12 na payoff. So 0.6 probability and payoff of 12. Okay, so next one. Ito tayo, failure. Highlight ito. Then change ang mga inputs natin. Failure. Probability of failure, 0.4. Payoff, negative 3. So 0.4. We off. We have negative three. Okay, so that's it. Now for the do nothing, guys. Ira, ano natin nito? Let's write here do nothing. As you can see, no zero automatic. If we're taking dalaga, zero dollars, zero dollars. Same with this one, zero dollars. We're taking dalaga. Ijaan. Pero if you check the pay of table, we have successful for do nothing and failure for do nothing. Parehong zero yung value nila. Probability is zero point six and zero point four. For the first part, guys, let's do muna kung ano yung yung unang perspective ninyo with regards to decision tree. Nilinaw ko to ng manual. Now for now, let's write here, let's add two branches muna. So for successful, na may probability na 0.6, right? No? And profit na 0. So next is failure. Let's write here, failure. Then probability of 0.4. And profit na zero. Okay, so we actually have now all of the given na kainput na cha. Check nyo mo na na before clicking the solve button. So let's now click solve button. Ayan. As you can see, guys, nagkaroon ng EMV. No, e pareho to EMV twenty, twenty, eighteen, negative eighteen, negative eighteen, twelve, twelve. Negative 3, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, Sir, bakit ganun dadandan? Actually, nagiging dadandan lang siya if ever na yung EMV na computed is nasa terminal node. Again, terminal node, ito yung dulo. No, terminal. Ito yung, sabi ko nga, may mga softwares na triangle yung dulo. In our case, sa manual natin, ang ginamit natin is vertical. No, pwede rin po yun. Sa atin, wala. No, nakaano lang siya. Naka-square. So, ayan, decision. Nakaganyan siya. Tapos, ang hindi na redundant is ito, dahil computed na po siya. 
Now, how does this being computed? Ito, 0.6 multiplied to 20 plus 0.4 multiplied to negative 18. Answer is 4.8. Okay, some product. Same with this second one and the third one. Now, as you can see, tama po tayo sa ating answer. Same sa manual. Guys, if you don't watch the manual presentation of this topic, no decision, traced with conditional probabilities, please watch it first. Medyo malilito kayo kapag pinanood nyo agad tong POMCOM tapos din nyo pa na unawaan yung manual computation. As you can see, guys, the EMV na kinuha natin is 6, which is the highest one. This is coming from the second na decision natin, which is to launch the tide with down, EMV6. Ayun. Kaya kung titignan ninyo, naka-blue yung ating uh, branch dito. Okay? Now, ito yung pinabangkit ko last time. If ever na zero ito, zero, 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 tapos zero EMV, then zero din dito, nonsense. Pwede po natin gawin dyan, let's edit the data. Pwede natin gawin is to highlight this one and to remove the branch. Highlight din natin itong last one. Na, na ano siya, na auto orange siya, no? Okay lang yun, huwag kayong malilito dyan. So, check nyo lang, do nothing, nasaan yung isa. Highlight this one and remove the branch. Nonsense po kasi, that is both zero. Again, any number, you know, mathematically speaking, any number multiplied to zero is equivalent to zero. Therefore, nonsense na yung mga branch na yun, pampadami lang, pampagulo lang. Pareho pa rin naman ang, may, ang makukuha nating sagot if ever na clinic natin yung button na solve. So, click. As you can see, We have 4.8, 6, and 0. Same lang din po in final answer natin dito sa ating decision node, which is EMV equals to $6 coming from the tide with down. Okay? So, I hope that is clear with you guys and I'm looking forward sa mastery ng paggamit ninyo ng pom-pom and of course, yung manual muna. Again, Software is nonsense. Software is useless if you don't know how to solve it manually. Because solving it manually makes you understand the topic ng mas malalim. No? And yung analysis ang pinaka-importante dyan. Okay, so anyway, thank you for being with me sa presentation na to. No, keep safe always. See you on our next discussion. Uh, bye-bye guys. Again, keep safe. Bye-bye.